Hello lads and welcome to A Stronger Mind. I'm Jakob Carlsen and I'm the captain of this ship. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. In this new chapter of A Stronger Mind I talk about depression and the topic of today will be anger. So why do I talk about anger? Anger was something that I was really struggling with when I was depressed. Many days I would just have a burning anger inside me and I would not know what to do about it. Occasionally it would go out in really brutal thoughts or it would go out uh, on someone that were really close to me in a really mean way or it would go out while I played a video game or while I was lifting weights in the gym or something like that. I didn't feel like I was controlling my anger. I rather felt like anger was just a part of my life. And when it had been built up enough anger, it would in some way be released. It was a massive change in my depression in actually learning how to properly deal with this. With this being said, what is unhealthy anger, guys? It's basically what I just explained. It's when the anger in you is released whenever the pressure is too big. That means when you've just had enough, you, now someone just said the wrong thing to you. The reason why this is happening is because anger is kind of like steam in a pot. You can just have so much steam inside a pot, eventually it will have to go out. It's usually not pleasant and it's usually something you'll regret. So what do you do about it? But a good way of expressing our anger is expressing it when it's actually there. When we feel it. When I was younger, I would fight. I would fight a lot and it was my way of expressing my anger. Now that we're older, I assume you're watching, let's say, you're anything above 12 years old, someone tells you you look like a jerk or you look ugly or whatever, you go up and punch that guy in the face, they might actually die. You don't want to take that approach unless it's really necessarily like self-defense or someone is really pushing your boundaries and you've told them countless times you're gonna punch. So for me, probably the biggest way of expressing my anger was not in any like real big aggressive way, it was simply putting up boundaries. It's really important for your own value. That means you're simply not gonna tolerate certain behavior and you're gonna love and respect yourself enough to act on that. The other way that I've also expressed my anger a lot, that is tapping into emotions. And feeling my anger has been really important for me to ending depression. You can take some broken objects bring a bat and smash that object as you scream, as you're really feeling the anger that you have towards the person that hurt you, that annoyed you. Go all in on this. After you're done with this, you have to forgive the person. You have to be able to let them go. This is a thing for yourself. Now, these were my two main ways to express my anger. Now, I want to wish you good luck and do express your opinion if someone is crossing your boundaries. Either this is in a relationship with your girlfriend or wife, or if it's in the workplace, if people are crossing your boundaries, communicate, speak up for yourself. Thank you for watching. Jakob Carlson from A Stronger Mind. Have a nice day, guys, and talk to you soon.